Central banking, which is a tenet of communism and a scheme to impoverish the many to the benefit of a few, is one of the most evil, most pernicious, and rapacious entities on earth. So when a member of the German central bank Bundesbank warned against buying Bitcoin, I almost choked on my wiener schnitzel. Having a central bank warn against buying Bitcoin is like a rapist warning you that sex with your spouse isn't as exciting as when he rapes you. Yes, we know. And that's why most people prefer not getting raped and why we prefer Bitcoin over any central banking script. Here's what Carl Ludwig Thiel, a Bundesbank board member said, Bitcoin is a means of exchange which is not issued by a central bank but by unidentified actors. I do not see it as a currency. If you think Bitcoin would be as safe as the euro or the dollar, you have to take responsibility for it. We can only warn people not to use the Bitcoin to preserve purchasing power. It comes as the height of arrogance to warn now, with Bitcoin at all-time highs near $1,800, that Bitcoin is a bad currency to preserve purchasing power. If you had bought $1,000 US dollars worth of Bitcoin back in 2011 at $3, it would now be worth roughly $566,000. If you had $1,000 US dollars in 2011, it would still be worth $1,000. But that $1,000 would only buy about $913 worth of goods. And that's when calculating the depreciation with the government's own CPI index of 1.34% per year, which has no bearing on reality. It's much higher than that. And if you had bought $1,000 US dollars worth of euros in 2011, you'd now have $859 worth of euros considering the January 2011 USD exchange rate of 0.748 euro per dollar. So with dollars, you would have lost roughly 1.34% per year due to inflation. And with euros, you lost a whopping 5% due to the drop in the value of the euro, and even more if inflation is considered. And with Bitcoin, your purchasing power increased by 56,500%. So clearly you can see why the German central bank is warning against holding Bitcoin. Because if everyone held Bitcoin, we'd all be rich, and there'd be no German central bank for Karl Ludwig, that Keynesian communist, to work at. Let's compare Bitcoin to central bank-issued fiat currency to show further how ludicrous Thiel's statement is. Fiat currency can be printed at will until it eventually becomes worthless, while Bitcoins are limited to a fixed amount. Fiat currencies are backed by government decree. Bitcoin is backed by cryptography and energy. Fiat currencies, despite holographs and seals, can be counterfeited. Bitcoin transaction logs prevent double spending and determine transaction legitimacy to stop counterfeiting. Few retailers will give you discounts just for paying with fiat dollars, while many online retailers actually give great discount incentives to customers paying for products and services with Bitcoin. And fiat currencies are forced upon you at gunpoint with legal tender laws, and you are extorted in fiat currency to pay extortion fees called taxes, while Bitcoin isn't forced upon you by a violent gang who makes you pay extortion fees with it. Across Europe and the US, the economies are falling apart as the middle class is wiped out and tens of millions are pushed into poverty by the direct actions of the central banks. Minimum wage protests continue because people are finding that the central bank's inflation has made it so they can barely afford to eat anymore. Meanwhile, the value of Bitcoin continues to increase. Had everyone had Bitcoin for the last few years, there'd be no poverty and no strife. The euro has fallen 99.75% versus Bitcoin since 2011. This is what the German Central Bank is warning you about. We suggest you ignore anything that the government, central banks, and the mainstream media fake news tell you. All three of them are centralized and archaic and are in the midst of being washed away by a new paradigm of nonviolent, decentralized systems of which Bitcoin is one. Most of the world hasn't realized this evolution is in process though. And so you can still get in and position before the crowd and potentially realize a fortune for doing so. You can get access to our book, Bitcoin Basics, and our newsletter that covers this ongoing paradigm shift in the links down below. I'll wager with Carl Ludwig Thiel that Bitcoin outlasts both the US dollar and the euro. In fact, I've predicated my life's work around it here at the Dollar Vigilante. Central banking is so 20th century. It's time people like Carl Ludwig Thiel disappear. In fact, why is the Bundesbank even still around? It essentially does nothing now that the counterfeiting power and interest rate market manipulation are committed by the European Central Bank. Poor Karl Ludwig, he doesn't even know he's already obsolete.